What's going on guys, it's Rated here, welcome back to the channel today, I have you guys a brand new video and this is going to be in a secret room I have found on this map, this map is of course St. Mary du Mal. this is a really cool map, I'm doing this in private match so it does not affect the online players but this does need to be patched and I'm going to be showing it in this video but hopefully you guys do enjoy it, of course if you do enjoy the video a like is greatly appreciated and of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel already Make sure you guys go ahead and do so as I'm going to be posting a ton more videos here on the channel. Now this is a glitch and it does need to be patched. That's why I am also showing you guys this while you can do it. So go ahead, try it out for yourself in a private match. I do not recommend doing this online as you will probably be banned for doing so. Uh, but let's begin with the video. So as you guys can see, there's a yellow car right here. There's actually a glitch on how to get on top of the map and I'm going to be doing that right here. So... What you're going to need to do is jump on top of this vehicle. Then you're going to do a simple sprint jump onto this ledge. Now, they previously did patch this. You're going to be jumping from this sandbag to this sandbag. There is a new barrier here. So you have like literally a millimeter of room on this side here to actually go ahead and jump on. So it is very difficult. It may take you guys a few tries, but I'm going to go ahead and try it for you guys right now. It's very difficult. Like I said, I like to line up my crosshairs right here and then do a simple little strafe jump and try and clip the edge of the wall right there so, to try and land on the barrier. Now, like I did say, it's very difficult. They did try to patch this, but they didn't do a good job, and bam, I have done it. Now, you will notice I cannot actually move any further along. Now, they did also add another barrier here as well, but what you're going to need to do is slowly just edge your way out, as you guys have seen me do right now, be very careful. Once you've done that, you are then on this ledge and you can run to this barrier right here. So you're going to do a simple sprint jump here. Then you're going to make sure you're on top of the barrier by just, you know, doing a simple sprint jump. Running around here and you are now on top of this ledge. You're going to do a sprint jump on top of here. And now you are on top of the building. That was Twitter. That was a notification. But as you guys can see, I'm now on top of the map on St. Mary de Mount. Now, this is kind of a crazy glitch. There was one over there where I'm shooting right now. There was a glitch over there where you could get on top of those roofs. I've been trying to find out a way to get on top of that water tower. It would be pretty cool. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys would like to see that too. Now, there are tons of areas you guys can go. You can go all the way around here, over here. And then you can also go around this way along the barrier and then find the secret room, which I'm going to be showing you guys in a second. But what I'm going to do here is show you guys the different area which I was talking about. You guys want to jump on top of this building here. And then you're going to do a simple little straight jump on top of here. The barrier is much lower on this area than uh, the other place. So just be careful when doing this because once you go below the barrier, you're not going to be able to get back up except from if you do the glitch again. Now from here, I've been trying to find a few little uh, secret buildings of where to jump to, but I haven't really found anything so far. Especially here, you can't even jump out the map or anything like that. You can actually jump on top of this truck and I do believe you could jump on top of that one. But this is a pretty cool spot. I'm going to... Okay, that, that was a complete fail. None of you guys saw that. But what I'm going to do now is do the glitch again and actually show you guys the secret room. It's in a safe secret room. You guys can actually see under the map. Unfortunately, you can't go underneath and stay under the map, which I guess does suck. But it's a cool little glitch nonetheless. And it's something cool to do in a secret. It's something cool as a secret location to do in a private match with a few of your friends. I managed to do it first time, but then I failed the, failed the little one there. But it's kind of easy once you get used to it. But I, I really do not recommend you guys doing it online. I doubt you would even be able to do it online before getting killed because it's kind of tricky, especially if you guys don't practice it over and over again. Like I did say, I've just been exploring on this map outside of the map uh, just so I can actually make you guys a pretty cool video and hopefully you guys do enjoy it like I did say. Uh, leave a like down below if you do. Now, what I did say before is you've got to jump on top of this building right here. Jump on top of that ledge and you want to be jumping on top of the lip right here. And as you guys can see, you just want to follow around here on the sky barrier now this reminds me of call of duty 4 back in the day all of these glitches i actually just tried uh, an elevator just in case they for some reason unpatched elevator glitches within this game but we all know elevators are not coming back anytime soon now i just found that glitch but if you fell that jump you're still on top of this barrier and the good thing about this you don't have to do the glitch again you can simply just jump straight on here so right there i'm back on it now, what I'd like to know down in the comment section below, um, what's your favourite thing about Call of Duty World War 2? There's been so many bugs, the XP bug, you know, all of this stuff is really does suck. It was like possibly the worst Call of Duty launch to this date, and God knows what they're doing about it, to be honest. Right, oh, failed it again. It's, it's so funny, I was actually doing this first time um, before I showed you guys this video, but 
This is a live commentary. If you guys would like to see more live commentaries here on the channel, uh, then definitely smash a like down below. It's greatly appreciated. But um, I'm going to jump on top of this and give it a try for the last time and hopefully I'll make it straight away this time. There we go. So once you're on top of this building, this is another building, you actually do have to do a strafe jump to get on top of that. Uh, of course, if you want to go to the secret room, you can just jump all the way around here, run around there. You can actually go over there. It's pretty cool, but I'm going to be taking the long route this time because I want to show you guys where you can actually go. Not only this place, but another area too. Right. I've been trying to do this. You can actually strafe jump on top of that. No, I failed. But you can get on top of that barrier and then run around, get on top of that building and then on top of that building, that building. Uh, but that's not what I wanted to show you in this video. There's actually a weird secret room which I managed to find so you guys can actually jump on top of this plane pretty cool I haven't really found anything because there's a huge barrier here and to get on this barrier here There's a uh, blocking all of this off you had to do that strafe jump to get on top of that building, but I haven't managed to do that so I Guess I'm not gonna be showing you guys that part of the video But literally this is so cool to explore outside of the maps there is actually one on London docks as well, which I do plan on showing you guys. It's, it's a really cool glitch. Just to explore like the maps, of course, this is not going to be possible online. You ain't going to kill anybody anyway. There's no really invincible glitches on this game anyway at the moment, apart from the one on Point the Hawk, which I guess is just like a stupid bug where you could just sprint jump on top of the buildings. Uh, but right over here, you can see there's some weird, weird bugs that like you can literally just jump on barriers, which is just ridiculous. Uh, for some reason, this isn't even buried off that high. The barrier is like this high, I reckon. So if somebody could find out a glitch how to get out on this side, that'd be pretty cool. But as you can see, you can just run around here. Not really much here. But now I'm going to be showing you guys the secret rooms. Now you guys are probably thinking, whoa, I can see under these buildings. And yes, you can. Uh, like I did say, I tried an elevator glitch just to see for some reason. Because we know how stupid Sledgehammer have been with this release. If they, for some reason, unpatched elevator jumps. If they did, that would have been a huge thing for the glitching community. But unfortunately, they didn't. And elevator glitches still don't work in this game. Or even work in Call of Duty. Since, I do believe, Call of Duty 5. Yeah, Call of Duty 5 was like the easiest place. Or the easiest easiest place to do um, glitches. But as you can see, this is a secret room. This is one of the secret rooms. There's another one over there. I'm trying not to fall into the death zone right there. You could actually jump out these windows and jump into this one. And I'm not going to jump on that. Oh, yeah, I am. What you could do is actually shoot the floor to see if the floor's uh, solid or not. And if it's not, then don't jump in that area. So let me take a look around here. Try and find any more. Oh, there's one here. But that is not solid. That's pretty cool, though, I have to say. Just see through the map. Um, there is actually, like, little Easter eggs outside of the map. And also um, on top of the map as well, which is... I don't know why they've added this. Maybe they knew people were just going to get out of the map. Maybe they just didn't bother fixing or testing any of these glitches before they go ahead and release the game. I don't know what's up with Sledgehammer recently. They're, they're just a bit stupid if you ask me. Let me try that right here. This seems promising. Let me try that. Oh. I swear I just jumped on that. What the fuck? There we go. Nah, you can't jump on top of that, but that's pretty cool. Maybe you can get inside, inside of that window. Try that one, one last time. Try and get inside of that window. Nah, you can't get inside of that. Uh, let's carry on exploring that. I'll, I'll take a look at that church in a second. That looks pretty cool. There's a few simple rooms. Gate. You can't really go anywhere from here. No, this, no. Um... If you guys would like to see more videos like this, like just little glitches and tricks, definitely let me know, like down in down in the comment section. I uh, I definitely find it fun, just do, doing st stupid shit like this. It's it's kind of fun. It's more fun than like just playing online sometimes, especially now that the XP's just been I don't know. They've they've destroyed it. They've they, honestly they've destroyed it, and I don't know what they're gonna plan on doing to like fix it. But hopefully they they sort out the XP system because. Honestly, when the supposed double XP weekend was out, it just felt like normal XP to me. And I, I didn't feel like I, I had an advantage over any player, which I guess you should have more of an XP boost. And you should be ranking up like twice as fast considering it's double XP. But that vehicle there is a fighter plane. That's, that's cool. 
that's cool. I'm trying to get on this building, but it doesn't look like it's possible. Okay. Whoa. Ah, that's where I went. <laughs> oh, another secret room. Wait. Oh, I could just... What? I swear I just tried to walk through that. Maybe not. It's pretty cool. Another secret room. Let me see if there's one here. Yeah, secret room. It's weird how the guns look like when you get in these secret rooms. It's like they're not rendered properly. Okay. Let me try and jump on top of that. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I strafe jumped on top of that, but I don't think I can make it. Nah, you can't get on top of that. It's, the barrier is probably much, much higher than what I've been strafe jumping to anyway. Uh, oh, this is this is the side of where we literally just just did the glitch to jump jump on top of that building to here, and uh, now we're back around. Like I did say, you can li literally just jump outside the map if you like, uh, just from that area. But I wanted to try and make that strafe jump to show you guys another little secret location. Let's take a look inside of this building. Oh, there's, there's no stairs for this building. What the fuck? That's, uh, oh, am I stuck? Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Oh, my character's moving itself. Let me try and get unstuck because I don't want to jump back out, outside of the map from there. Can we do it? That's the question. happening but i guess i'll leave the video here uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this like i did say don't do it online it's just going to ruin the game i've just posted this video because i found a few little secret locations that i kind of wanted to share with you guys and like i will say hopefully you guys did enjoy it um who knows maybe in the next video if you guys really do enjoy this i'll do a different map um i'll find out a ton of like little glitches that we can do just before they get patched so we just explore the maps i posted one the other day of uh, how you can actually play um headquarters on a private match and there was a ton to explore on that map it was pretty much like just endless it was it was insane i'm surprised like they they must have done that deliberately maybe they're adding uh the headquarters as a as a dlc map maybe we don't actually know yet and one thing that i do hope they add for headquarters maybe on christmas they make the headquarters snow that would be pretty cool or sometimes they make it rain or you know sometimes they just change the environment of headquarters that'd be pretty cool hopefully they do that and hopefully like uh, Sledgehammer have endless possibilities of surprising us with new stuff in the game other than just supply drops as we know supply drops are not the biggest thing that I'm a fan of in Call of Duty I'm more a fan of like when they add events to the game but hopefully they do and uh, like I did say hopefully you guys enjoyed the video smash a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and of course I'll see you guys in the next video check out my previous videos on screen right now and hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace